If you're gonna talk golf, Ross, do it on the noobs. Uh, dude, we, we just opened the pack that Gallows threw on the floor and we've uh, we found Bet Fair Billy in there. Pet the bloody kit. Fair Billy mm. and Nick Watney. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma. I'm in my kit. Grandma Watney. Grandma Watney's in on my sweets again. Bricks and bugle. Dun 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 dun. Peter U line. Dun 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 dun. Peter U line. Don't know who he is. Dun dun dun. Peter U line. Don't bet Peter U line. The, the odds market is crashing. No. It's bad for you. It's got 29% of your sugar in one 250 milliliter serving. Alright, Gallows is back. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Who did you bet? I did bet DJ. I put all the money in DJ, bottled it, had to cash out, lost 10 quid, uh, and then put it on John Rahm. John Rahm was shit, actually. I bet Kyle Stanley last week, each way, snuck in sixth for 25p. Bet for Billy Cursed Fee now! Oh, yeah, another yeah, curse strike! Why did I bet a five run him? He just fucking cursed! Struck Bubba as well on the back nine! <laughs> wow! Brilliant. I can believe how well Bubba's playing! He's, yeah, he's a fucking brilliant. skinny loon these days. No, What's this cool. about? Who's, who's <laughs> fucking trying to identify Mansfield Lurks? I'm the biggest lad in Mansfield. Do you want to have a game of golf with Alan Hurt? No. Really? Not unless he plays Coxmoor, we'll not play it. We'll play Shield or Coxmoor. That's what we'll play, Alan, if you fancy it. Skins, oh. 20, 20 quid old. Unless you play off one, then we'll <laughs> Everybody hurts. Good interaction there, Noob. Sorry, Lauren. Yeah, thanks for all the new blaze. Keep them coming. Some shit banter um, on there. Yeah, good old shit, shit banter. We love a bit of shit banter. Any banter's welcome. Any banter's Even good. if it's homosexual banter. <laughs> put, your, put your new blaze down below. Um, like, subscribe. Stay tuned for the US Open mm. picks. I've already started proper picks. I've already started diving in. We'll probably do them on Monday or something. We'll probably be late. We'll probably end up on Wednesday. Should we get into the shit fest, which Ooh. is the St Jude Classic? Oh, snowboarder! <laughs> um, right, St Jude Classic. Shiny is a shiny two k. Loads of shits. Um, Loads of shits. My Full theory shit. is um, get those away. Yeah, from put them you. away. Right cards. I bet done. Jason Duffner in the last uh, round last week, so I've got some money That's nine true. to one. Not um, bad, fair so, tale. This is yeah, true. Yeah, I'll show him your bet slips. I already cashed it in. I'll show you my cash if you want. Piss off. Fuck off. Are oh, you a fucking drug dealer? Uh, no. Right, so I'm not going to bet any of the top oh, six dealer. or seven. We do, we're the golf news, we do three picks a week. Um, How I'm many not going to bet. I do you three. do more than three, you do. I did four last week. <laughs> bet. Show your bet show, slips. Show me your bet slips. Who? Um, Dinner. <laughs> I'm bet I'm not betting any of the top six because I think if they they these lads are they win well done they're meltdown yeah. lads though as well they're not like yeah Adam Scott steady is just lads. not playing Adam Scott golf is he I've got him in my DraftKings but I don't think he's gonna win he gets loads of birdies mm. um, Ricky meltdown Ricky meltdown Brooks Ricky. these are Brooks this is my theory on Brooks right mm -hmm. too much water. Too much water. He, he gets fives all the time he because he, he also gets in the water. Twos up. Yeah, like fives. he's very fucking good. Yeah, there's too, too many, many bogey holes for Brooks this too week. Too many bogey holes. It's a tough course. We haven't talked about the course. Yeah, it's bloody tough. It's one of those. It's a bit like last week. It, if you you can get on a fucking hot run. Yeah, gritty, like, tough. No. It's one of those. It tough. It's tough. They look at the winning scores. They're still tough. well under par. It's tough. Fifteen under par. Fucking tough. It's Thirteen under par last week. It's fucking tough, mate. It's one of the toughest courses and. On South paper. wind, Bird, whatever it is. Birdies. Um, bogeys, yeah. Birdies, bogeys, birdies, bogeys. Right, let's go. I'm betting Carl Stanley, yeah. who was 40 to 1. Didn't get him. And I got him at 33 to 1. Everyone's betting him. Yeah, he played those, brilliantly it? last. So the week before, he played brilliant, he didn't, didn't putt very, very well. well. Last he didn't week, very well ever. he putted very well. When? Last week. On the last day. Well, yeah, yeah. Was, that means he's putting well. One day. Combine it all together. You're betting him as well, so I don't know what you're talking you about. You've got to lie and say he's putting well. Look at his stick. He's had one round of putting in. That's about, that's honestly his only good putting round about. Exactly. Trending towards the putt, better putting. 19 weeks. 
He can't put the bloke fundamentally cannot put. He just hits no every man. single fairway and hits every single green. And I'm taking him in a fucking field of shit. There's a reason he's gone from forty to one. Because everyone's betting him to twenty eight to one. He's playing very well. And long may it continue. Strike. Let's get him down. Get him down to ten to one. Just put your house him. on him. Got You've got to bet him. Just gotta bet him. You've just got to bet him. The thing is this year I'm as well. betting him. Pat Mayo's betting him. Betfair Billy better not fucking bet him. In fact, is Betfair Billy... Yeah, no, he hasn't had checked. No, he hasn't posted but, one yet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe he's dead. No, or maybe he's, that's worse, because that means that five people bet on already. Curse. Yeah, you don't want to get last Golf betting system hasn't bet him either, so they, that means he's probably Safe. terrible on bent grass. Anyway, sorry, Steve. That's our first pick for both of us, I presume. He's, the way I've got about it is because mm. if everyone who's won this year... Has been knocking on the door. Kisner, yeah. top ten every week. Knock, Duffner. knock, knocking on Kisner's door. Top ten every week. Knock, knock, knocking Hadwin. on Daphne's door. Top ten every week. Knock, knock, knocking on Hadwin's door. Who else is going to knock on the door? Fucking knock, Carl knock, Stanley. Knocking on Carl Stanley's door. Knock, knock. Who's yeah, there? And they've Carl also, Stanley, they've also been doing. Carl Stanley, the pick two, still and bit, still bit of so before I do pick two, I'm just going to tell you that I have bet. Kevin Tway, I have bet Ben Martin, I have bet Harold Varner, um, but I, I bet them every week, so it's not really a tip, is it? Pick number two, and I've, I've fooled around here for a while, and do you know where I've ended up? I've been looking for value, this place is a mess, Billy Horschel shit, Charles Swartz hasn't played well for years, yeah. um, Danny Lee's a lunatic. Uh, What's up to Danny Lee? Piss me off. Don't know. I've been for years. Kevin Chappell's a twat. Hey. Uh, and I've ended up betting Brian Gay, Ian Poulter oh, at fifty to one. I was just looking around the. You're a gooner. Like, You're a secret gooner. I'm an anti gooner. Hashtag well. Ian's a gooner. I'm an anti gooner. Why are you red? Even I just, don't know. It was like a goonie shirt. Today, this, this is Polter Red. It's like goonie shirt. It's a it? Bangladeshi cricket top. It's an Arsenal away jersey. It's not. Um, I'm betting Ian Polter at 45 to 1. You can't see him. He's just doing a fucking gay pose. <laughs> or 50 to 1, whatever you can get him at. Uh, Put a game under because he's fucking crap. He said, he said he's not going to play the US Open qualifiers. He's just going to try and win this. Which sounds good to me. He, he always lines, says that. He lines up very well. He's been playing very... He, the only thing he's been doing badly is putting. He came second last time he was out. What more do you want? Now he's relaxed now that he's got his card. I don't know. You look around there and you just... You, you just end up at Ian Potter at 50 mm, to 1. Not bad Ian Potter ever. Um, and he's in on a draft. Ever! As well. uh, so ever. that's the part of... Ever! Um, right, so he's in. Who's your pick to? Uh, we're going back to a win on tour. We're going back to a man who hits fairways and greens. We're going back to a man who I will be betting for the US Open, Kevin Chappell! Oh, God! <laughs> we're going again. to Kevin. It's value, mate. 33 to 1 in this field. Kevin yeah. Chappell. What's he done? Knocked on the door for weeks. He bloody got won. through he's the door. Won. He's, and now he won't he's, win again. He's ready for the US Open. He I bet him last week. Again. Didn't again. He made loads of eagles, loads of birdies, loads of bogeys. If he does that again, he does that again. If he keeps him off his card, he's gonna win. If Kevin Chappell plays well on courses where there's fuckloads of water. They didn't know that. Yeah, he does like tough golf courses. And I he's said it was fucking a tough golf course, good. So. He hits fairways. He hits he greens. He's thirty-three to one. He's, he's better than slowly. Billy Horschel. He's better than Russell Henley. He's better than Carl Stanley. He's better than Ryan Palmer. I'm not betting anyone else. Kevin Chappell, Carl Stanley. Doesn't take a genius to work out. One of them's gonna win. In not not even fair nothing enough. easy. Yeah, fair play. I thought about not taking Madfield at eighteen. No. Like the idea of Madfield. Did you know that Daniel Berger broke his driver and have been trying out drivers <laughs> over the last few days? <laughs> exactly. uh, and last time that happened to someone was Henrik Stenson at the beginning of the year and how's he doing solid um, right and then Genius. pick ben, ben three and I wouldn't be a golf noob unless I put him in pick three it's da -na 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 Ricky Barnes na -na 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 Ricky Barnes 140 to 1 he's 200 to 1 some places uh, 150 to 1 he has been playing or people are saying that he's played five tournaments in a row and that he's going to be knackered he probably is knackered and that's even better I'm not happy about the fact that he's going to be knackered. He can't make But um, he is... Did I he have US Open exemption because he came second that time? It runs out after five years. No, I think you have to win in order to get mm. that. Probably, yeah. So Ricky. he's Ricky Barnes. Um, if ever you're going to take him, you've just got to take him in absolute garbage fields. He still seems, he's still 140 to 1, 
which probably represents the fact that he's Ricky Barnes and he's never going to win. But win. if he one day plays Ricky Barnes mag goal for four, three days in a row, he contended in a few he last, can win, last. Yeah, last he was he, he was at minus five at one point last week, yeah, sort of knocking about. Win. He was almost he first runs, round leader he? the other day, wasn't he? Just get some he? mad runs, Ricky. Mad Ricky. So we, we just does. need Mad Ricky to go on a little mad run. I'll be better, Ricky. And yeah, we're going for a golf new bet the Barnes, bet the Stanley. I'll bet the Ricky. And golf new bit into the US Open with, a, made, with a bag of cash. If he goes mad, he goes mad. Who are you going for, number, number three? Right, well, we had a brief discussion about this yesterday. We were talking about winners, remember? Yeah. And we've gone for, there's a lot of chilled out winners at the minute. Loads yeah. of chilled out, and I watched a little interview with Fat Perez on the range when yeah. he was uh, waiting for that playoff about three weeks ago. They were like, Pat, you seem to be playing, and he's doing classic Pat, like, Yeah, man, no, don't care. actually playing that. I was just there with the Duff man and Kevin, we're just in the range drinking beer. Who else drinks beer? Who else likes a ranch? Who else is fat? Who else doesn't give a fuck about anything? Boo Weekly. <laughs> it's the year of the fishermen, the year of the southern fucking hillbillies. JB won't win, he doesn't fish. He's, he's, not, fat. he's not cool enough. And he, he fucking yeah, irritated me yeah. when he should have won that tournament a million to one. Shit. Not Ben JB. So the only other fat, fat hairy hillbilly who hasn't won is Boo Weekly. And what, what do we find out when you go back a few years? Boo Weekly's played bloody well at this place. I think I've got him at 175. Sounds like a Boo Weekly score. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, he is. 175. I've got him first round leader. There you go. So yeah. I'm going for Boo. Boo. The cash game Boo Weekly. Boo. Boo Weekly. Boo. If he gets cursed, Boo. I'll cash it out and put it on Dominic Bazelli. Boo Weekly is the worst putter on tour. Well, there you go. I'll, yeah. bet, I'll bet another load of bad putters. Stanley, Barnes. What about um, your mate Brett Stegmeier? No. I fancy him this week. He came he seventh last year. He's very frail. Look, look a bit thin today. I don't know if he'll get around. No, I won't bet on Grayson Murray. Come on. So you're going to waste man Grayson Murray for well, once? He's not waste man. He's never going to win ever. No, but he's, he's just a, a cunt, isn't he? What was he doing? Scrapping with the and fucking... He was, no, he cheated. And then oh, yeah, he did cheat and then what's the five like, people? I've put five pounds on so you, you know to be first round leader. I will be waste manning Russell Knox. Waste yes, man. I will also be waste, waste manning Russell Knox. What the hell's Knox. happened to you? know what's happened to Russell Knox? Start wearing, hanging out at Matt Kuchar wearing Skechers. Sketchers! Put, put some fucking foot joys on. Matt Kuchar hit a nice little driver off the tee uh, last weekend. <laughs> Skechers! Skechers! Cash machine Skechers. Um, <laughs> you must have a lot of Skechers. <laughs> uh, I've got the team bet, so. Yeah. We'll give you because this feature went quite well last week. No, don't it waste didn't go those. quite don't well. Waste though. If you want some, you've got to order a, a pan. A, a pan, yeah. Some Tupperware. Team bet. We do the team bet. If you know who's going to win, hashtag Nublay down below. Um, give it a like. Give it a subscribe. We love the new blades. We love the banter. Team bet. I'll pick three golfers uh, and then Gallas picks one of them, and we both bet them. <sighs> so here is. we go. I've gone. Actually. What's this? And I'll give him the option of uh, a, a bonus, bonus wild a card. bonus wild card, which is a man out of the packet. We've got. I can't imagine going to be too many fucking high quality. Scott Piercy. 66 to 1. Iron to Stein to get back on form. Played very well the other day, but had the shits. Harold Varner the third. You bet him. 70 to you 1. Have Haven't bet him, only bet him first round leader. Uh, everyone seems to be on him. Is playing better. Played very well here last year. Like Ian Poulter played very well here three years ago. Uh, fourth man, Scott Brown. Gala's favourite. Mm, well, not favourite, but Gallas has been known to bet him before. 110 to 1. Uh, he's plays gone, he's well gone down drastically. Plays probably. well in these kind of like Puerto Rico Open style shit fields. He likes a water course as well. Um, and he's at 110 to 1. Or the bonus man. Mm. So would you like one of those three or would you like to gamble it all on the bonus man? No, Ben Scott Brown. Yeah. You sure you don't want to gamble it all and go on the bonus man? Ben Scott Brown. Let's have a look at what you could have won. I've already bet Ricky Barnes. I don't really want to put any more fucking money into the... Oh, into the bonus into fund. the bonus drink, drinking dream. I'll put Brown and Barnes in the same team of right. drinking. That's stupid. Here we go. So this is who you could have had. And it'll be whoever looks most like the card. Do you always get shiny? Is it good, is it good to get shiny? 
Was it that shiny? I can't see. Oh, who is that? Is it a bloody woman? Who on earth does that? Cave woman! Who looks who most like, like a, cave a cave woman? Hudson Swarford. <laughs> <laughs> he's only yeah. there. Is he there? He's yeah, like, he's there. Where is he? There he is. You've got your mouth. There he is. That's a, a Hudson Swarford <laughs> cave woman. So if you're into. Uh, you know, Mystic Meg. Mystic Meg. Mystic Meg says Hudson Swarford this week. Cave woman. Or you could go buy the Ben Grass bollocks and go for Brooks Kepka. <laughs> What about car rivers? It seems like it's your you time. You can of call me on um, my rivers. What's happened to your love affair with car rivers? You know enough of him now. Shit. So stupid. He's shit. You can't get a love affair with car rivers. He's shit. He'll shit you out. He's shit. What is that? <laughs> is that the moose? That's a Boo Weekly. That's moose. a Boo Weekly. Moose. Uh, moose. That's a moose. That is a moose. There's a mahoosive moose. <laughs>